Hi team, welcome back. My name is Dear Shema. I'll be guiding you on how to use the software. Come with me in. I'll be logging in from here. All right, so this is now management portal which allows you to monitor or to view transactions. Okay, so here we have the number of XMS units you have available. Here we have the USSD balance you have available. Here we have wallet balance you have available. And here is the future wallet we are trying to integrate um, with the dollar wallet. Um, here is the uh, total commission generated for the month. All right, um, and so on. All right, so this is cash balance. Cash balance means once you buy airtime, data, and so on. So you have your cash balance, your cash back, rather. All right, so let's just go to the topic of the day. All right, um, we have the branch management, which allows you to add as many branches you, you want. All right, or manage as many branches, add and manage. All right, so here we have add customer, which allows you to add new virtual accounts. So virtual account are a unique account number, which allows you to accept funds from of money from other company, from other um from other um, banks into your application or into your companies. All right, so we do have another which is add customer. So add the add customer allows you to register your customer, a an internal, but it has an internal account number. Internal account number simply means the customer must come to your branch to make deposit. Unlike the virtual account, the virtual account allows your customers to post money and also to come to the branch and post money. So the virtual account has two ways. It's either you send money uh via bank or you come to the branch to deposit money but where they add customer and the and the quick customers they are they are similar you have to go to the branch before you can deposit money into your account all right so we have the recapture the recapture here simply allow you to um recapture your customer data over again all right Let's say, for example, you want to recapture uh, the customer's image, you want to update his um, password, and so on. So, recapture um, allows you to do all that. So, we have DOM account. DOM account owns any account. Um, it's a C3 month without being active. You see them in the list of DOM accounts. So, we have the block. Um, the block and open account which allows you to block account in case if you don't want any deposit or withdrawal to go through on the specific account so we have customer permission so customer permission works similar um to block account but the difference between block account the well, once account is blocked no deposit or withdrawal can be performed on the account but um the difference within the customer permission the customer permission you can determine and answer okay i don't want only deposit i don't want um to i don't want a uh, deposit to be happen in this account so which means you've restricted access of deposit they can only withdraw but without depositing in the same way you can say okay uh, i only want deposits but no withdrawal so this uh, likewise customer can deposit without withdrawal so you can control the permission under the customer permission all right oh okay so we have the pending entry pending entry helps you to know number of uh, account that was registered for the day all right so which means every account register every customer added or any member of the cooperative added the number keep increases all right so you have to see it and to approve or to delete Okay, so we have the savings management. The savings management simply allow you to do your deposit and your withdrawal. All right. Okay, why the a customer receive alert? Then we have the account statement allow you to view a specific account statement of your of your customer. So we have by transaction in case you want to view your own transactions. So we have uh, multiple wallet. 
all right so um, in some cases some customer want to open two account type uh, so it's not advisable for the customer to have two account number so we suggest you do what we call multiple wallet you integrate all right so uh, this simply means that the customer will have one account uh, one account but two um, account product which means two wallet the customer can decide to save whichever wallet you want to save. all right just like uh, we have um, um, let's say daily savings and target savings so the customer can be decide can decide to save on whichever wallet he wants to on the same one account so while deposit withdrawal all right the essence of deposit withdrawal is um uh, reverse rider is um if you intend depositing one thousand error can occur or mistake you mistakenly add zero which is ten thousand and you post we do not advise you uh, withdraw the funds instead uh instead instead you do reverse uh, okay so that when the customer sees the status of this uh transaction you now said okay well it was an error it was reversed all right but when the customer see debit on his statement or when he's requesting for his statement or when he's uh, stroke uh strolling down through his transaction uh he, he may he may want to call to know why and so on all right to avoid all those explanation deposits reversal will handle all that all right so we have end of the day the end of the day uh we are it's coming so it's actually a new uh um, feature which allow you to see the sum of everything you you did for the day the sum of total deposits by cash total deposit by transfers total interbank transfer you did, total money you earn, and so on. So end of the day, helps you capture all that. All right, so we do have a withdrawal management. So the withdrawal management simply allows you to um, see pending withdrawals, then approve, all right? So the customer can initiate withdrawal from the app, from the customer app, and it comes here. All you just need to do is to view and approve okay we do have interbank and bills interbank and bills um interbank transfer we all know that all right it allows you or enable you to transfer from your application to any bank within nigeria all right you can you're able to buy airtime you're able to buy data you're able to do business transfer all right business transfer is for you to be able to transfer to another cooperative within um within our network okay so we have um my wallet uh transaction which allow you to view uh your transactions such as uh interbank transfer payment of bills um wallet uh wallet transfers um business transfer purchase of um sml unit data and so on all right so you see all that because all that is money that's actually moving from your wallet so you see the the history of my wallet here all right so we have the issues to uh, management the issues money simply allows you to manage your issues to uh, collection natively all right so uh it's calculated by 30 days simply means that if the customer starts saving 30 let's say a thousand naira times 30 the system takes one and allows you to withdraw um 29 all right so you can save you can save um 30 but the system can only allow you to take um 29 because one has been taken as charge for the management all right so that's the essence of uh issues to uh, management allows you okay to um view statement reversal pending deposit in case if uh, the deposit was made by your staff so you need to approve pending withdrawal overdraft and call over call over allows you to see uh the view of the fresh all transactions made all right on specific date so we have loan management allows you to um add group group loans view your group loan add borrower which allows you to apply or book loan for your um for your customer all right so it comes to pending from pending it's it, it either you approve reject or delete so whichever it is it moves to the appropriate if it is rejected move to rejected if it is deleted move to trashed 
and if it is approved it moves to pending disbursement simply means oh you approved it and you are set to give the customers the phone all right so from this uh, pending disbursement move to ongoing and from ongoing on the customer completes his loan it moved to uh completed paid loan all right so uh the next you can view your the due loan missed loan written off and so on all right so we have pre-fund card management um which allow you to add card all right so you can issue a card atm card to your customers and also manage um the atm cards all right so we have uh, agent management it's a more of an mmo um app that allows you to uh, manage that allows you to uh, manage your mmo network all right so we have the share management um some of the cooperative do uh, sell shares to their members so from here you, you are able to sell share to your member or your member are able to purchase share from you all right okay so we have the um admin panel allow you to add as many admins so sub admin and feed uh, officers all right so we have the teller management which allow you to add teller so you can prefund the teller david the teller close the teller all right if you don't want to perform any transaction again view the teller commissions pending vouchers um change password and so on all right okay so we we'll have the customer management which allow you to view all your customers uh okay we'll look at the customer permissions so um transfer customer so is either you can transfer the customer from one branch to another or from one staff to another you can delete the customer however it's not permanently deleted it's moved to trash um to trash rather all right so from trash you get either um restore or delete all right we we'll have the view uh, customer details we have the announcement they'll have the change phone number all right so we have the fees deposit which allow you to help your customer fix and then withdraw and view the statement all right we do have another uh enable you to um, message broker allow you to send single xms book xms single email and bulk email across all your customers all right so we have wallet to wallet transfer with allow your customers to exchange phones within their wallets all right so we have um, staff management will allow you to manage your staff we have payroll allow you to manage your staff um, salaries we have um expenses management will allow you to add your expenses see your list of expensive I should do expensive uh, expensive um um re recurring all right so we have other incomes all right you can add the other ones we have subscription to manage your subscription all right so we have the general settings where you um my company setup allow you to uh, manage your informations and to set up the system the way that suits your need all right so we have the kyc the company kyc allow you to supply your compliance we have the we have the uh set of fix allow you to create a product uh savings product allow you to create a product uh set up loan inter allow you to create a product daily uh, um vc settlement allow you to receive your phone your virtual phone at the end of the day all right then we have the factory reset allow you to clear your data if you want to exit from our service all right so we have um the calendar to to check your date so we have the customer log allow you to view um to know the last time the customer actually logged in to the app so we have the report uh, um facility here and accounting allow you to um view and export all your customer deposit withdrawal um, um withdrawal charges xms charity teller ledger and so on all right call over and so on so we have various of things um um balance sheet loan expected repayment um staff performance and so on 
all right so we have various of um tools which is profitable for you to use in organizing your organization 